What's up everyone, Chief Sheridan here and welcome to our latest video series where we'll be focused solely on ad hoc reporting, OBIEE in IPSA. Uh, we're very excited to bring this series straight out of the AG Schoolhouse in Fort Jackson. And I think we can all agree that there's a lot of tools out there currently available to the field. We have our UPKs, we have our user manual, um, we have our AG2 videos, Facebook groups, we have Mill Suite, all of these tools available to us that are focused primarily on how to process transactions and PARs within IPSA. But maybe not so many tools available to us on how to create our own custom queries or our own custom dashboards in ad hoc. So that's why we wanted to come out with this series. And what you will find over the course of the next couple of months is I will break these videos down into basic level, intermediate level, and advanced level features of ad hoc. I'll cover things like how to create your own folders, how to delete and rename folders and reports, some simple navigation um, ad hoc items, how to customize your favorites. We'll go over how to create your own queries, add some filters. We'll get into some visualizations and pivot tables, and then we'll even get into some Excel functions and case statements towards the end. So if you're someone who has never used ad hoc or would like to use it, you're just unsure how to get started. I think this is a good starting point for you. If you're one of the more experienced users out there in the field, hopefully you'll find some value out of the future videos that we come up with. Now, no different than our previous AG2 videos, uh, we will be operating out of the institutional training environment, which is our approved training environment for the AG schoolhouse. So there will be no PII in these videos. However, I will always encourage you to follow along in the live site on your end. And whenever I start talking about ad hoc reporting OBIEE at its most basic fundamental level, I like to start with or preface it with a brief look at readiness and manning analytics. Now readiness and manning analytics is a predefined dashboard that's been around since release two. Within a dashboard, I have what are called pages. So where it says per stat, readiness, vacancy management, and unit excess, these are what we refer to as pages within a dashboard. Now within each page, I can have multiple views or as many reports or views as I want within each page. So where we see it says per stat, this is what we refer to as a title view. Directly to the right of that, I have what are called performance measures. Now a performance measure tile simply takes a metric and displays it as a performance measure. So 257 authorized, 162 assigned, 63% filled, so on and so forth. Directly below that where it says duty status view and duty location view, these are bar graph views. If we keep scrolling down where it says duty status view, you can see I have a drop down of multiple different views that I can toggle between. This is what's known as a view selector. On my left hand side where I have all of my filter options, and you can see I've already plugged a UIC into the UIC column. These are what we call dashboard prompts. So a dashboard prompt simply allows us to select multiple values in one column, and that's how our data is displayed. All the way towards the bottom, you can see they've built a custom legend showing what each color, mean, color means. And throughout this report, you have multiple export options. I can toggle between pages. And whatever dashboard prompts or filters that I've applied remain the same, and that's how my data is displayed. Now, everything in this report is also hyperlinked. So as I hover over each metric, everything's hyperlinked. And if I were to select one of these metrics, it would take me to the by name soldier data for whatever metric that is. Now, I say all that to say that Readiness and Manning Analytics was built using ad hoc OBIEE. So every tool, every feature that you see in here came from ad hoc. That is to say that 
you could replicate this provided that you had access to the right subject area folders and you knew how. Now throughout the series of these videos, I will cover most if not all of these features in readiness and manning and show you how you can leverage some of these tools on your end and hopefully make your lives out there a little bit easier. So that's all I have for you for this brief introduction video. Like I said, we're very excited to get going on this video series. Um, if you got something out of this short video, don't forget to leave us a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, throughout these videos, if you have any questions of me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to everyone. If you have a feature or uh, something you'd like me to do a video on in the future, go ahead and leave that in the comment section as well and I'll do my best to accommodate those requests. So thanks for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Defend and serve.